I did a review, uh, what did I do? I can't remember what it was. And um, I mentioned a young lady called uh, Dainty Diaries, uh, Dainty, De Dainty Dress Diaries. Uh, she's on YouTube, she's on Twitter, she's an Irish girl, she's very entertaining and um, me and the wife watch her quite a lot. And um, she's quite funny because what happens is she'll go out on the slash and then come home drunk and um, she's eating something called, well, it's garlic cheesy chips or cheesy garlic chips or whatever you want to call it. And um, it looks absolutely brilliant what she eats. It's, well, it's just chips, garlic and cheese. And um, she, I think the, the wife said, June said the other day that she had said how they uh, do it at the chip shop. So at the takeaway wherever she goes. And uh, we had a go and it was absolutely brilliant. So what I'm gonna do folks is I'm going to, to show you our version of cheesy garlic chips or garlic cheesy chips or chips and garlic cheese. However you wanna dress it up, you dress it up in your own ways. All right folks, um, I've cooked some chips in the uh, air fryer over there. Um, I love the air fryer, it's absolutely brilliant. It just cooks everything nice. <laughs> um, so what she says is um, you get a layer of chips, now these are going to be hot, so I've got my wartime bowl. So a layer of chips, yeah, just a layer, yeah, just a layer. You then put on the garlic sauce. We use these salt um, crucials. They have got loads of stuff out. I'll show you the other one we do. Well done with it. It's here. All good chip shops and bad ones use this stuff, right? It's absolutely brilliant. They sell it at Costi Cutters, uh, next village along. And uh, they do mayonnaise and garlic mayonnaise and sweet chilies and it's brilliant. So, layer of chips. Mayonnaise. Now then, we use the uh, mozzarella cheese, grated. It melts quicker, it's quite tasty, and it looks good. So, layer of chips, oh, you can smell the garlic already. In fact, I should have had the camera, I'm not to, uh, oh. Right, yeah? Then you put another layer of chips. Now, no doubt, there's all a lot of people out there who might be commenting on my health, my future, I'm a walking heart attack, I'm a diabetes claim uh, case and everything. You're only here once. My mum, she never smoked, she never drank, she wore, uh, wore a bike. Rode a bike, at health there. She was dead by the time of late 50s or something. I don't dwell on stuff. Uh, cancer got her. So, just enjoy life. So there's another layer of chips. All garlic mayo. Nearly empty, I need some more. Mm. Garlic and herb is absolutely tremendous. And it only costs a pound, that stuff. Right, a bit more cheese. Now then. And there you have it, right? How well does that look? Looks absolutely tremendous, don't it? Right. That is now in the oven. Um, what do I do now? Mm. Mm. For the visually impaired out there, 
I've done that and uh, i tell you what I've got lined up folks um, how many of you out there actually like corn beef give me a hell yeah if you like corn, corn hell yeah CB um, I'm gonna do uh, some corn beef on toast right corn beef toasty it's uh, it's something I have now and again I do do different sorts so if you want me to do a corn beef toasty uh, give me a hell yeah CB and um, I'll sort it out. Uh, the cheese is melting quite nicely over there in the oven. And um, this is just something that's, I mean, me and the wife have had it quite a few times now. It's just nice. If you've been out to the pub, uh, the, one of the good things about the air fryers is that you can put it on a timer. And so if you come home on a Saturday night, you're hammered and you're hungry, but you know, you, you, you're coming, don't you? you? We've all done it, we've staggered in. You, you've had Chinese or you've had fish and chips and you come over and you're still hungry. I mean, I always used to do it. I'd, I'd, I'd go up the Chinese, but about 17, 18, 19 or whatever. And I'd go out and I'd get absolutely hammered. I was never a violent person. Um, and uh, I'd come home and uh, me and Pedro had been and had Chinese and then we'd been up the chip head. And then I'd get home and I was starving. So my mum had cooked me an omelette sandwich or something like that. So we've always come home from the pub and you're always hungry and you want something else, don't you? Because when you're drunk and it's Friday and Saturday night, uh, you, you could eat for England, can't you? And um, you come in and you put your, your oven on or whatever, or you, some of your people even put the bloody chip pan on. You put the air, fat, uh, air fryer on, you put it on for the time, you fall asleep watching match of the day or whatever, some shite on gold. Uh, and it just switches off, it's brilliant. And you can even get up and just warm it up again and it's brilliant, so um, it's one of the best things. Um, get, if, you, if you watch my review on the air fryer and get yourself one, they're absolutely brilliant. They cook everything so good, so well, so nice. It's, um, what's up June? <laughs> How are my chips doing June? She's walked straight by the oven, can you believe it? How selfish can you get? Just walk straight by the oven. Are you getting the bean bag for? I thought that was only for special occasions. And uh, yeah, so just get yourself an air fryer. That's absolutely brilliant. Right, just checking on the chips. They're all right, aren't they? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Don't burn your hand. Oh, is that alright? Yeah, that'll yeah, do. Yeah, that'll do, for, that'll for, do. Purposes of the video. for the purposes of the video and the visually impaired, I have now. You turn the oven off for? Got pork. Can't eat a bit of pork on Sunday. Um, so, what it is, folks, I have uh, got the chips out of the oven. Um, you can do other kinds of things like this. Now, there you go. How's that look? It is absolutely tremendous. I thank Dainty Diaries uh, for this, um, for telling us about this, because she's come home, so, uh, not every time, don't get me wrong, she's not a raving pisshead and alcoholic, but she's a young girl and she likes to go out and she comes home and she's had a Chinese uh, a takeaway and it's, you know, well please just look her up on Dainty Diaries. She does a lot of um, home improvements kind of stuff and all that um, stuff. Uh, well, she's good, she's really, she's a very talented girl. To be fair, she's wasted on YouTube and uh, Instagram. She should be doing something else. She's got the talent to do it. So, um, so what I did folks, I just used cheap chips, cheapest chips from Co-op. And this is it, look, look at that. All that cheese that's dripping off and it's covered in mayonnaise. Mmm, 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 mmm. Look at the hell. I could have attacked by cheese. That is absolutely stunning. Mmm. I cannot say, folks, how 
Perhaps I should have left it in a bit longer to make the cheese melt and brown up a bit more. But it is absolutely so, it's so tasty. Mm. It's just, it's absolute dream. Dainty. You're a little darling. You're an absolute gem for passing this on. I, I mean, I like, I like to invent things. And uh, I like to explore what we can do in the kitchen and all that. As George Michael used to. But he'd had enough of the kitchen, didn't he? Table. But, mm. So folks, next week, it's sat there, you come home from the pub, you might not have an air fryer, you've got an oven or whatever, just cut yourself some chips, get yourself some of this, crucials, garlic herb, or just go for the garlic mayo, or make your own mayo, get your own Hellman's out, mix it in with, you've seen this lazy garlic and lazy chilli uh, herbs and garlic and all that. Um, just mix it in and make your own. In fact, I might do that one day. Mm. Get yourself some mozzarella cheese. And just go for it, folks. You will not be disappointed. It is one of the best things ever. It's comfort food. And because you've got the double layer of cheese lot, or here, that's all cheese again. And the cheese is melting on the top, and while you're eating the bit on the top, it's still melting and cooking underneath. Do you know what? When I was younger, I always wanted to. I was in a turning point in my uh, uh, crossroads or fork in the road of me, my life, and I wanted to do something. And I always wanted to have the nerve to go and do like a burger bar. But a burger bar with a difference, you know, just cobs and stuff and all that. But I, I wanted to do them with a difference, but it was such a big risk. I never dare to do it. Because I've took so much care into stuff when I'm cooking them and all that. I think I might have taken too long and uh, I don't think I would have probably made a success of it. I don't think there'd have been anything wrong with my food that I'd have cooked. But the wife says, I always do the best sandwiches, I do the best wraps and everything like this. And, um, oh. Absolutely stunning. And I would have done, has that gone cold? Yeah. Come with that I mean, don't, it's like all these little burnt bits around the side. I love the burnt bits around the side. So, there you go, folks. Next week, let you treat yourself, any, well, any night, really. Ain't got to be Saturday night and you're drunk. Just do it. Have a go and let me know how you get on. Um, okay, folks. Laters.